you taking me? And not only that, we're moving to Ibiza. <laughs> it makes perfect sense. We book the flights one way and then we leave tomorrow. Tomorrow? Uh, who's stopping us? And in this bonkers. Oh, think about it. Right, you can go over there and teach English and I'll go sell some paintings. And then we can get a shack near the beach, near the cove where it all started. Come on. If we can't live here together, let's just go and live in paradise. Just you and me where there's no one to judge us. We've got a problem. Don't tell me there's been a hurricane in Ibiza. <laughs> the condom split. What? Hunter, are you sure? Yes, 100%. I need to get to the chemist. What about Ibiza? I'll talk to you later. Indoors. Look, you're not well. I know you didn't go to the doctor. Water, we need water. Look, you have to see someone. Are you helping me or not? Cindy? Hey. Get off me! Now look what you've done, you stupid little idiot! Oi! Alfie, don't go. It's all right. You've had a gob on all morning. What's bugging you? The only thing that's bugging me is you wobbling around to that music. Marnie. It's Nathan's birthday today. <laughs> what are you doing in work? You should be with your kids today of all days. It's too late. Just messed everything up. That's what Brittany said. And she lost her kids. But if there's one thing I know about it's family, then it's never too late. Why would you put a deposit? Yeah, I'm nipping to the doctors about my bad back. If you see Ellie and Alfie, tell them I'll, I'll be home short. And I'll love you, yeah? Nita. Oh. Hey, Alf. You OK? Cindy just lost it in Priceless. Why is my family so messed up? Oh, I'm sorry. What's wrong with her? She's freaking out about this Armstrong guy. Who? Uh, Cindy. He's been stalking her, and now he's left the village, but she's still in a pretty bad way. I completely forgot the birthday card. Don't worry about it. Flowers will do. But well, whose birthday is it? Nathan's. We're on our way to the cemetery. Nita, you idiot. Your dad told me the other day and I, I completely forgot. I'm sorry. Hey, it's no biggie. He's going to meet us there. Why don't you come? More the merrier. What? How much? <sighs> no way. What do you think you're doing? Mom needed some extra cash. Don't lie to me, Hunter. I know you're not a thieving little toe rag. So, what's happened? All right. I met a girl in Ibiza. And I'm crazy about her. I want to go back and live there. 
So you've had your head turned by some Latina goddess? Nah, she's from Brighton. Well, why don't you tell her to come here? Nah, it won't work. Why not? It just won't, all right? <sighs> I know things have been hard since your mum took off. And mine, it can be a real pain. But I did let your dad stay. Well, what's my dad got to do with any of this? Well, I, I wanted to make you feel at home happy. I was happy when I was in Ibiza. Well, of course. Everybody wants to live the dream on a beach somewhere, Hunter. But that's all it is, the dream. I told you Mum I'd look after you and that's what I'm going to do. Here, you go. treat yourself. Get some chips. And I'll have a jumbo sausage and some scallops. What's all this? Oh, we've closed the pub for Nathan's birthday. What's Nita's idea? Um, yeah, I thought it'd be a nice idea for us to celebrate Nathan's life with his fave spag bowl and a little family get-together. It's the least I can do. You hate it, don't you? No. I think it's a wonderful idea. Come on. Oh. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> How's your back doing? Yeah, it's a lot better. I've uh, got some painkillers from the door. Oh, good. Right, um, everyone take a glass here. Happy birthday, Nathan. You, uh... Well, you lit up our lives, son. And, uh... Well, we just... We just miss you. We, uh... We miss you every day. Nathan. This is for all of us who love Nathan. And I've not come here to fight. I just want to see my children. Well, they don't want to see you. I, I really think they can speak for themselves. We were just trying to do something nice for Nathan. I know, darling. But excluding the woman who gave birth to him really is an all-time low. Mum, please, just don't do this right now. I will never forgive you for what you have done to my family. Enough, Marnie. You were the one who poisoned Mac. All we're trying to do is celebrate Nathan's memory. He was my boy! Then show him some respect and stop making this all about yeah, that's you. Enough. Yeah. Which loved this. You know what else Nathan loved? Good food fight. <laughs> oh, oh, it's on. <laughs> no! Hey. Okay. Have you come in here? Yeah, yeah of course. Hey. I'm sorry about before. How are you doing? How am I doing? How Cindy? <sighs> Don't manage to get her back home. We're trying to get her to see a doctor, but she's refusing. You know she didn't mean to hurt you before, don't you? Yeah, yeah, of course. Look, I'm sorry that I ran off like that. It's just... I couldn't handle it. You know, I've never seen her like that before. It's a bipolar. I think all this stuff with Armstrong, it might have caused a relapse. I'm scared, Alfie. I don't know what we're going to do. Why don't I try talking to her? You've had an awful day as it is. You need to be with your family. Hey, you are my family. Maybe if she knows that we're all behind her, then she'll listen. She'll speak to a doctor. What if it makes her worse? Please, just... just let me try. You know... Trouble with raising a family of baby birds. They grow up and then they kick you out your own nest. Oh dear, mother. What now? James, just when I thought I had no one left. You best get her home before she causes a scene. Went well with the family then. James! You didn't think I was going to invite you back to mind? She's your mother. You should show her more respect. She made her bed. Cha cha. Come on, let's get you home. I hate that mum for what you did to me, Dirk. I hate him. Yeah, and you've every right to, babe. I know it's hard, but you've got to try and forget about Armstrong. 
you stuck him. He wasn't cruel enough, is it? He's made me sick again. How did I even let this happen? It's not your fault. Hey, look who's come to see you. Your mum and I were just talking about getting her some help for a bipolar. I'm not going back to the hospital, Dirk. No way. Talk to the doctor now and it won't go that far. We can nip it in the bud. You all think I'm mad, don't you? Of course we don't. Though, I do have to hand it to you. The way that you trash price slice was pretty impressive. Mum, I know you're worried about Armstrong still being out there, but you can't carry on like this. Polly's right. If you live your life fearing something that may or may not happen, then you've just let fear win. We want the old Cindy back. Yeah, the Cindy who would flirt with the postman, steal your last chip when you weren't looking. The Cindy that would make us sit through hours of Cougar Town reruns, then bite our heads off when we didn't laugh at the funny bits. <laughs> we love you, Mum. So we're asking you from the bottom of our hearts, please get some help. You know that you can do this. I don't know what I'd do without you. You poor thing. Looks like we're in for the long haul, hey? I think we deserve a decent glass of wine. How about something vintage? Count me in. <laughs> Wonderful. Pop round to Price Slice, will you? It's been such a gruelling day. Are you telling me? Oh, God. Shift you. You know, Myra, now that I'm going to be here on a more permanent basis, I really think we need to do something about this ghastly decor. I know this woman who makes the most spectacular Roman blinds. Lord, I have tried, but I'm begging you. Please, deliver me from this mithering stuck-up woman. He wasn't going to come. We get the pill, yeah? Yeah, don't worry, it's sorted. Listen, there's been a problem with the flights. Any chance we can use your credit card? I I I'll pay you back, I promise. Hunter. Up... I've loved every second of being with you. I believe it was one of the best things to have ever happened to me. And the thought of us being shacked up by that cove, it would be a dream. But it just can't happen. Not in reality. Why not? I've just spent the whole day with my family. They're still getting over Nathan. I'm in a relationship with Mag, Alfie and Ellie need me. I need you. I just can't run out on the people I love, I'm sorry. I've got people I care about too, all right? Auntie Myra's taken really good care of me. But I love you, all right? And you, you love me. This is wrong. It's illegal and I could lose everything. Are you dumping me? Nate here, please leave me a message. Darling, it's me. A little surprise for you to say thank you for all your hard work. I'll uh, see you later. Hunter. Never be together again, not like a normal couple. So you say. This can only ever be an affair. Did it? I saw the doctor. What they say? They're increasing my regular dosage. And she doesn't have to go to hospital. 